Her uncle goes on over the phone to the officer about how she's pure as snow and how she was raised in a house of God, the usual BS. Welcome back to They Did What? Your source for the internet's craziest, most entertaining stories where I go with them, analyze them, and most certainly make fun of them. Today, I'm going to go over a story titled, My Ex-Girlfriend Has Turned Our Breakup Into a Nightmare Scenario. And big shout out to Cole for sending me this story. And guys, this story is about a guy, he's young, 20 years old, his girlfriend's 19. Their first year of college, they were together, so it sounds like a year. And he thought he was in a great relationship. How many times have you heard that one in these stories? And as it turns out, she comes from an extremely religious, conservative family, where I'm almost positive uh, SEX is a big no-no until marriage, and uh, no talking about that type of thing and all that. And lo and behold, out of nowhere, they're about to move in together, which is dumb, but I'll come back to that. They're going to move in together, and out of nowhere, she breaks up with him like that. Dumps him over the phone, he never saw it coming, breaks his heart. Then, make things even worse, their entire friend group stopped being friends with them over things that she said. Then, you're going to see it gets even worse, where she had made all these accusations about things that he did. You can use your imagination on that. And campus security is after him, and even one of her family members is making threats. And this guy did nothing. And I'm doing this just to show you guys what can happen to guys. They can be the perfect guy, great turn, all that, and just simply just one accusation. What can happen? However, however, this guy is not stupid. He's not backing down, and it definitely ends up on a higher note here, at least for him, but in terms of his life. But with her, it goes to show you what can happen. So guys have to be careful. They have to be so careful in what they do, who they choose to get involved with, all that and be prepared for a fight sometimes something happens. So it starts, <clears throat> he says, so for some context, I'm 20 years old, and my now ex-girlfriend, she was 19. We were together throughout our first year of college. It was almost like a dream. We had our ups and downs, but for the first time since my first love died several years ago in a car accident, I was really, really happy. I am more of a stubborn guy, and she's much more of an anxious people pleaser. But we balanced each other out and loved each other very much. Well, so far, so good. Sounds like he definitely was in the dream. Unfortunately, the dream is going to turn into a nightmare, like he said. He says here, fast forward about a year. We have a day together before we move in, a sushi bar date, some quality time together at her house with cuddles and watching our new show together. Cuddles, dude. On the day, we both plan to help each other move in for our next semester. She tells me we need to talk. I call her, and she breaks up with me over the phone. I'm actually pretty devastated. I took some time at home and moved in later. During this time, our entire friend group ditched me and sided with her because in their minds, I was stubborn enough to where I was stubborn enough to where I'd be okay. I was not. I laid in bed for her nearly 3 days not eating, and she wouldn't speak to me. I was her first boyfriend, but something seemed off. Okay. So, you can bet your ass something seems off here, and he obviously can. His gut's telling him something's wrong here. They're together all that time; everything's great, and boom, she she ends it with him just like that, over the phone, no real explanation. Well, this shows you guys how a gal, you could do everything right. I mean, really, everything right, and just will drop you like this, completely heartless, not give a crap at all. How many of you guys have been in a situation like that? It's happened to me when I was younger. And then all the friends suddenly stop talking to him. That seemed a little bizarre there. Goes to show that they clearly aren't his friends. About three weeks later, we finally talk. It took her three weeks to give me an explanation. She gives me about every excuse under the sun. Lots of reasons she di she disqualify about 10 seconds later, but nothing really adds up. And I chalk it up to her just being confused during a personal point in her life. And we agree to try to be friends. Smack! You're going to try to be friends with a girl that kicked you to the curb like a piece of garbage just like that after a year of what you thought was a great thing, the dream as you you called it. And there's no way you can be just her friend. You're in love with her for God's sakes. You can't just go from being romantic romantic relationship to being buddies. That will make her lose even more respect for you as a guy by accepting that. 
And quite honestly, after what, the way she kicked you to the curb and all the friends stopped talking to you because obviously she said things, why the hell would you want to talk to her? But he's young, 20 years old, doesn't know any better. His heart's in a roller coaster. He's desperate. And, and no man should be desperate, but he's young. He's learning. Which she then rescinds on about five hours later. Roller coaster. I'm hurt and confused, but eventually, after some personal growth, she may find her way back to me, right? No. Even if she did, you don't want to be with her. This is where the shit hits the fan in a manner God himself could not have conceived. Uh, approximately a week and a half later, of no contact, I get a call threatening my life with my personal information while I'm at my dorm. I rush over to the campus police department and it turns out her uncle... The police talk to him, and it turns out that she accuses me of, wait for it, guys, S-word assault and uh, domestic A-B-U-S-E. Of course, this report was never made to her parents or the police, because it's simply not true. I have never, ever laid a hand, even so much as a hand, an unloving hand on her, and despite being her first, I've always strived to make sure that she was comfortable and happy during our times together, so, something our year of texts also reflects. The uncle goes on over the phone to the officer about how she's pure as snow, <laughs> pure as snow, and how she was raised in the house of God. The usual bullshit. Bullshit. I tell the officer I want to press charges and leave. She refuses to comment on the situation to me or the police. You're damn right he should press charges for those false accusations. And hey, I'm glad he was quick to think, hey, I got all these text, text messages proving of our dialogue that uh, there was a great thing going here. Now, so, well, here's the deal. What exactly did she say? What caused her to have a complete 180 like this? Just, boom, out of the blue, breaks up with him. But remember, Uncle says she's as pure as snow. Maybe the snow that the dog takes a piss in and you walk by and see the yellow snow. I don't know. But, uh, and, and raised in a house of God. So something's going on here. Did she cheat? Did she get pregnant? And blames him. I don't know. Something's go something's definitely really off here. Now we have a no contact order from the university while the investigation is underway. And I've learned from a friend that she plans to transfer colleges. I guess it just calls into question all the memories we made and everything we went through together. She falsely said things about me of some horrible things to her uncle. Got my life threatened, refused to speak to me about it, and is now running away. What kind of game is that to play with the person you claim is your first love? I guess I'm just more hurt and confused than anything else. And I can't even get my own closure at the, on the moment, on the matter. And stupid enough, despite what she did to me, I miss her like like hell. Smack. Smack the stupid out of you. I get she broke your heart. And I guess you miss who you thought she was back in the day and the good times. But clearly, she, she's not who you think she is. I mean, she dropped this guy like that. How many of you guys have been dropped like that, right? Like nothing ha like nothing great ever happened between the two, and like that, you were kicked to the curb. And even worse, he's accused of all these things. This could destroy his life. Have him kicked out of the university. Have a record. And now her uncle, who says she's this uh, sweet as snow or, or pure as snow or whatever the hell he said, is making threats to him, Right? <clears throat> so, for a little updates here, he says, uh, Thank you to everyone for the messages of support. It means a lot to me that you guys could know in a period where I'm pretty alone and hurting more than I have before in my life. Sometimes I catch myself about to cry on the bus as I ride to class almost subconsciously. And don't worry, my mother has a lawyer we've consulted. Good, bro. Tell your parents what's going on. you got to protect yourself here. I've also spoke to the campus police department, so I have my bases covered on a legal front if she decides to file a report. It'll be her word against my mountain of textual evidence. Well, I'm glad he has an attorney. I'm glad he spoke to his parents. I'm glad he has um, evidence. But still, a crying girl to some male judge or male authority figure, that's going to be tough to compete against with. Uh, for those of you doubting whether I did something uh, awful, I understand your doubts. But I can rest easy at least knowing I never hurt her and would still never do so. Your suspicions still hurt, but I know what I've done and haven't, and I ne I'll never do awful things to her. Even now, I still love her, foolish as I might be. I'm trying to move on from that feeling, but it's still incredibly raw in my heart. 
He's young. I get he, I get that he misses who he thought she was, but that's not her. What you're seeing now is her true colors. And again, the big mystery is what the hell caused her to turn like that and make all of those BS accusations. But thank the Lord this guy's mature enough and smart enough to talk to his parents, lawyer, all that. Another update. He says here, Thank you all for the continued well wishes. It's still hard to grapple with everything, but it feels like it's getting slightly easier by the day. Take it day by day, bro. That's all you can do, and it will get better. While I still feel somewhat inclined to get an apology of some sort of contact, I'm slowly resigning myself to the possibility of never hearing from her again. Dude, do never talk to her again. After those accusations, in no way, shape, or form this should this guy reach out to her because she'll use that to her advantage to make things worse for him. And why would you want to? Closure? She's an asshole. Newsflash, women are nuts. Or at least some of them, or most of them are. I'll be nice to say some. I start group therapy sessions next week and have been talking to the dean at my university about more resources. Since hard as it is to grasp, I'm apparently registered as a survivor of a traumatic experience. Registered as, as a survivor of a traumatic experience? Well, at least the dean of his university is aware of this situation and clearly on this guy's side. It's also good that she changed schools, but again, why did she change school? Why all this? I gotta wonder if she got pregnant. And she didn't really change schools. The religious family maybe is hiding her like the old days. And last update, he says here, Hey everyone, things have improved a lot since my last update. Good for you. I finally came to terms with knowing was something important that everyone else kind of knew from the get-go. My ex's priority was simply to hurt me, and whatever reason she had, they did not and will not matter. I've kept the no-contact no order in place, cut around my life, and have been going to therapy to help ease the weight of the betrayal that has been on my mind. Great, man. We all cope and move on in different ways. If the therapy was the thing that helped you, okay. I got no problem with that. Equally important, I'm seeing someone. As one of my friends who helped me through the incident, she has a good idea of what happened. And it's been so nice to be able to talk to someone who's in my own wavelength, both in terms of humor and emotional maturity, and to be able to talk about the issues instead of shutting down like my ex did. I can say with a good bit of confidence now that I'm happy. And I plan to go see my girlfriend for my birthday. Thank you for everyone who kept up with my little personal nightmare. It's only uphill from here. Well, bro, I wish you the best. You know, I don't I'm not I don't know him, but I wish him the best. I don't know if you'll see this. But guys, this goes to show, like I said in the beginning, what can happen? How just like that, a gal can kick you to the curb. You have no idea. Everything was great on Wednesday, but on Thursday she's dumping you on the phone, dumping you through text, even worse. And we're making accusations. I think there's way more going on, and sadly, I, I don't. Fi- you never find out. I think she got pregnant, maybe probably by another Chatter Tyrone. Probably blame this guy because he's probably an easy target. I don't know. But you know what? In times of life, you may not get closure or answers, but you got to move on, and you can't let somebody ruin things for you. But also, to show you guys, how guys have to be so careful because he got off lucky, thank the Lord, and he has family and the attorney and and obviously the the dean of the schools on his side and all that but it could have been way worse and i've done stories when it was way worse and has life ruined or an accusation so this goes to show you how the deck is stacked against guys out there and believe me there are scumbag guys out there that do awful things and deserve to have what's coming to them but the horrible thing is when good guys good men are accused of something they didn't do and because of bad apples out there they're immediately guilty until, well, honestly, proven guilty. you got to be careful. But situations like this, this guy's moving on. I think he's rushing into a relationship too quick, but that's probably help, helping him get over her, so so be it. I just hope this guy takes his time and doesn't make the same mistake, some mistakes with this new one as he did with the other one in the screening process and all that. Now, real quick, a few comments here. One guy says here, family knows she's, the, the fa- her family knows she's S-word active. She pulls a weird 180 and is transferring to another college. I honestly wouldn't be surprised if she was pregnant given the set of circumstances and her family's ultra-religious views. That was my first thought immediately. If she's just if she's trying to justify the premarital SEX to them, he S-word assaulted me and avoid being pressured into getting married because she's prego. I can't marry the father. He's abusive to me. It's, all, it's about the uh, only logical scenario I can imagine. Another guy says here, sounds to me like her ultra religious family found out she was moving in with somebody romantically. She did a cover she did a cover her ass move by lying and throwing you under the bus. Some people are just shitty and can't own up to their own BS, and it's much easier to run away than face the music. That's another strong possibility. 
And last one says, I hate to say it, I hate to say that the friend group wasn't a friend group. If I wasn't you, I would never allow any of those individuals, including the girl, to darken your doorstep again. If I may advise further, take whatever time you need to, to center yourself. I will, I will preface that my approach may not necessarily be what works for you, but when I was in college, I'd shield away from dating women who attended the same college in favor of those with no ties to my college. It takes a lot of resources to get into and stay in college, plus it's important to your career. If all of that can be potentially undone with a few words, it is not a worthwhile chance to take. Good luck to you. That's a very good point. You're going to date during college, then date a chick from a different school because if it's in the same school, that could impact. If something like this happened, it could impact him being there. And one more, this guy says, not the a-hole, but you do need some serious counseling. This girlfriend lied to the police got her uncle to threaten your life, and you still miss her and might take her back. That is very F you thinking there, buddy. Or effed up thinking. You want to try again until her uncle makes good on her threats. Count yourself lucky and consider posting your text messages on social media or a blog and let her uncle read her comments. Be glad she has transferred to another college and realize that those, that those you thought were your friends are not your friends. None of them gave you the benefit of the doubt as real friends would do. Well, I wouldn't go posting, I wouldn't go stirring the pot at this point, putting stuff on social media, unless she herself started making posts about him on social media. Then he can then do it to prove his innocence. But I wouldn't just, there's no point in doing it now. But that guy made a very good point about the friends. If Guys, if you have people that would drop you just like that, without hearing your side of the story, that tells you everything you need to know. Better to be alone than have a bunch of people that are told fake and uh, act like your friends, but behind your back talk about you and all that. It's just simply not worth it. Better to be alone. Have your dog. Have your cat. But the odds are, in my opinion, you're just better off and realistically having just a couple close bros at your side. A couple close buddies is better than having 20, 30, 40, 50 so-called friends that you're never quite sure about. So, but he's young and I think this guy will learn this. So, all right, guys, that is it for, that is it for today. Be sure to comment down below. Let us think about this situation. And guys, you come across a good story like the share by all means, email to me, strongsuccessfulmail at gmail.com. Just give me some time to get to it and I will. And be sure to like the video, share with your friends and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time.